Peggy 18. So we're here today in Hoboken, not very far from Sabre Interactive's uh, New Jersey office. And if you didn't know, Hoboken is the birthplace of Frank Sinatra. Inversion is a third-person shooter that has a unique gameplay element, which is uh, the ability to control gravity and to navigate in altered gravity environments. What Sabre likes to do as a company is we like to try to find cool technical ways to innovate and then see how we can make uh, cool gameplay flow from it. Uh, when we started designing Inversion, we wanted to take an already established genre and sort of put our own spin on it. So in the case of Inversion, we were really focused on utilizing physics and in our opinion, the best way to utilize physics was, was through gravity control. In the single player campaign, you play as Davis Russell, he's a cop. Davis Russell is just a policeman with a wife and a kid and a, and a life. On a routine day, he's out with his partner, Leo Delgado, and on the way home, just this incredible thing happens. Vanguard PD, hands up! Drop your weapons! We don't know who the invasion is from, we don't know who these people are. Citizens are running down the street, there's big explosions, they're just completely puzzled. Parts of the ground are being lifted up into the air, and we don't know exactly what's happening to the world around them as gravity starts to shift and change in strange ways. So you can also play the game if you're the second player as a guy named Leo Delgado. Uh, him and Davis have been partners for many years and they go back quite a ways. Davis is very different from Leo, and they're a good complement to one another in the gameplay. The enemies are called the Ludadors. Davis and Leo really aren't sure where they've come from. I can kind of give you the historical background of the initial designs in terms of the art, style, and feel that we were going to do something which kind of looked a little bit like uh, a Brazilian city. And the Ludadors came from that whole idea about the influences with, you know, Portugal or Brazil, better yet. They are more savage because of the conditions that they're living in and that their size and form is based off of that as well. And as the story progresses, you also progress with Leo Davis. You get to find out more and more and more about what's going on. There's a lot of deep tricks that we have. Which turns what many might consider to be kind of a generic prototypical story into something a little bit different. It's a cool twist, and we like it, and it fits. It fits for the game. Gravity as a weapon was just something that we thought would be very fun. In a third-person game, you have your guns, you have your grenades, you have all your standard stuff everyone's seen before and we've used that as a springboard to explore the second element, which is really the core element of the gameplay, uh, which, is, which is gravity. So what we thought of was this Gravelink device. This Gravelink device gives you the opportunity to do a bunch of different things. You can use the Gravelink and shoot a projectile of low gravity, which will create sort of a low gravity orb. So you can increase gravity, making things heavier, making things collapse. Once things are floating in the air, he can actually use the same device to pull objects towards him, throw those objects to create destruction within the world using those objects to pull enemies and do kind of cool melee moves on them, you know, slice them in half, you know, which is always fun. Come on, move it. There's things that we didn't even know the player can do until we started playing around with gravity within the course of the game. You know, you want to get to use them, you want to learn them and sort of become really intimate with these things because they're going to help you out. And because we're using realistic physics to simulate everything we're doing in the game world, there's no limits to what can be done. So I think people are going to be doing things that we didn't expect and we're going to be surprised by them as well.